Hi, I'm Joe James. Today you are going to learn five ways to make an uncrackable or at least extremely difficult to crack password. Number one, use an acronym rather than a word. Words are easy to guess, acronyms are not. So for example, my favorite superhero ever is Martin Luther King Jr. I could use as a base password MLKJR. Another example, my favorite movie is Guardians of the Galaxy. I could use as a base password G-O-T-H-E-G. -E Easy for me to remember, difficult for a hacker to guess. A favorite song, uh, J-G-M-A-R. It looks like a random string of letters, but it's easy for me to remember because it's an acronym that I'm familiar with. Two, don't capitalize the first letter. Everybody capitalizes the first letter because you're required to have one uppercase letter in your password. It's too easy for hackers to try uppercase for the first letter and lowercase for everything else. But so by capitalizing one of the middle letters, you make it much harder for a hacker to crack your password. So if, for example, your base password is MLKJR, try capitalizing the K or the J. If your base password is JGMAR. Try, try using an uppercase A instead of an uppercase J. So this makes it much harder to guess the password. Three, most people use a date or a year for the number part of their password. If you're going to do this, that is easy to remember, but don't just use the obvious dates. Somehow you have to transform the date or invert it to make it more difficult for a hacker to guess. So for example, my birth year is 1988. I'm not going to call my password Joe1988. That would be easily guessable by a hacker. But if I take 100 minus 19 equals 81, 100 minus 88 equals 12, I'll use 8112 for the number part of my password. It is much, much harder for a hacker to guess. If I want to use my mom's birthday, I might use 4527 instead of 0523 by transforming the password using a minus function. Or you could multiply by two or by three the numbers of your date. So it is still relatively easy for you to remember, but very hard for a hacker to guess a transformed date. Four, combine the base password with the transformed date. So if your base password is JGMAR, your transformed date is 0824, you can form a secret password by adding those two together. And here's another example, MLKJR4527. This is going to be far more difficult for a hacker to guess. And number five, and maybe most important, don't post clues on Facebook. There's already a lot of personal information on Facebook. If you're going to use your favorite song as your password, don't tell the whole world what your favorite song is. Another tip, do not use the same password for social media as you use for financial accounts. The reason is that your Facebook login is used for a lot of different sites now. Any of those sites could easily harvest your login and password information for your Facebook account and use it to crack into other accounts. So it's safest to have different passwords for social media and financial accounts. Do not use any of the obvious information that could easily be harvested online like your name, your pet's name, your address, your hometown, your birth year. All of this information is easily harvested from your Facebook or your friend's Facebook page. And every different combination of that will be tried. So hackers can harvest all these keywords from your social media sites. They can plug them into a script that tries every different keyword combination. So combining your dog's name with your anniversary date is not going to throw a hacker off. I hope these tips have helped you to form stronger passwords and keep your data safe. I'm Joe James. Thank you for watching.